Casino Evil 2 is set at the morgue that is taking in the bodies from the Blackwell Hotel Massacre. Amy is about to leave when the call comes in and she decides to stay to help process the bodies. Amy, Seth, and Holden are ready for a busy night. While going through the facility, Amy is surprised by her friends. They snuck in to celebrate Amy's birthday. During the festivities, a couple sneak away and stumble across the body of Jacob Knight. They start to have sex on the table next to him. Before they realize it, Jacob's body has disappeared. Somehow, Jacob has come back to life to attack everyone at the morgue. And this is your setup for the sequel, See No Evil 2. Simple, but this one struck me as less effective than the previous film. It's Halloween 2 compared to See No Evil as the original Halloween. Where the violence was hyper-realistic, this one was more direct and uninventive you get simple slashes and stabs while in the previous film there was some time building up to the kill there's not much else to say compared to the other films on this episode i couldn't help but feel like i was watching a live action dead by daylight round jacob goodnight in this film has a passing resemblance to the trapper here comes the trapper you better watch out for his traps here comes the trapper don't step into his traps do, do step in. What else rhymes with traps? Maps. Hubcaps. Ginger snaps. Oh, now I'm hungry. All right. Here comes the trapper. You better watch out for his traps. Here comes the trapper. You better eat some ginger snaps. The trapper. Jazz, jazz hands. You have four main survivors representing a different trope. All I was waiting for was for them to gen rush the killer. The Soska sisters handled the rectorial duties this time around. They're no stranger to horror. Um, Notably, they directed CM Punk in a remake of the David Cronenberg classic, Rabid. Glenn Jacobs, a.k.a. Kane, returns as Goodnight. Apparently, Goodnight went through an evolution, a mystery a full-on change that no one sees. Give yourself an ice cream bar if you get that reference. Uh, This time, Goodnight can talk, which kind of ruins the mystique of the character. Danielle Harris plays Amy. Harris would be familiar to fans of Halloween 4 and 5, as well as the Rob Zombie Halloween remakes. She plays the role of the horror heroine just fine. Uh, There's more to her career than horror. Uh, There's comedies like Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter is Dead and City Slickers, Uh, that are a tip of the iceberg of her credits. Catherine Isabel plays Tamara, the sex-hungry Jezebel that is partially responsible for bringing Jacob Goodnight back from the dead. She's had a lot of TV work before her breakthrough turn as Ginger in the menstrual-related werewolf horror film Ginger Snaps. You can also see her in the Monster Mash clash of Freddy vs. Jason. Michael Eklund makes a reappearance on Mac in the Movies, We saw Eklund in a few films for the Stone Cold Steve Austin episode. That would be episode 10. Here he plays Holden, the manager of the morgue. Uh, Contrary to previous performances I've seen of him, here he's actually sympathetic. See No Evil 2 is a letdown of sorts. It doesn't reach the mediocre heights of the previous film, but it does sport a better known cast of genre actors. I just barely recommend it if you're a diehard horror fan. (laughs) 